Welcome to the National Ploughing Championships. So why is onboard Sipnua causing so much concern for the farming community? Ireland continues to be a country where a large proportion of the population still live in rural areas. This is approximately 40%. Research has shown that remote rural areas are consistently amongst the most disadvantaged in the state. The difference between the poorest and the richest counties increased over the Celtic Tiger era. In that regard, the proposals contained in the Special Groups report will have a negative impact on rural areas and regional development and cohesion in Ireland. On board Snip Nua had made a number of recommendations in the agricultural sector aimed at reducing the costs of 305 million per year over the next five years. The report is proposing to cut capital acquisitions tax, CAT thresholds. This will in turn discourage the transfer of farms from one generation to the next within the family and undermine the future of a competitive agri-food industry. Additionally, the report is proposing to cut the rural transport programme and reduce costs in the HSC funded non-emergency transport services by 20%. This may impact on the ability of elderly rural residents to access health services. On board Snip Nua has also recommended that the Suckler Cow Scheme be terminated, disease levies be increased and that the TB and brucellosis eradication schemes be reviewed for efficiency and effectiveness with a view to restricting TB eradication compensation to 75% of the market value. These and further cuts in the disadvantaged area scheme will have a major impact on farmers. It would mean that for many farmers the majority of their income in the form of direct payments would be removed and that would push many smaller farmers and those in disadvantaged areas into hardship circumstances. Cuts in reps and other agricultural cuts will hurt farm families and constrain the amount of money circulating in the rural economy.